I'm Gary Motak with the Moba Corporation. I am an account manager on the paving products side of things, and I have been with Moba for going on 13 years now. One of the main challenges for contractors is achieving the best IRI score that they possibly can. And one of the most frequently asked questions is, well, well why do we even care about IRI? Uh, one of the main reasons is the DOTs will pay incentives um, and disincentives uh, based on your IRI score. Um, doesn't matter how good your automation is, if you don't follow um, great fundamentals, uh, you will not achieve optimum smoothness. Some of those things are your screed adjustments, um, having if your machine has strike offs, making sure they're correct, your lead crown, your tail crown, um, any of your auger extension heights, um, paving at wide widths, using auger extensions, proper head of material, uh, proper paving speed and also your overall uh, continuous production um, from your mix from the plant um, have to match your cycle times uh, with the trucks coming in um, uh, matching paver speed to the amount of trucks you have and also making sure that you have proper roller capacity uh, to keep up uh, with the trucks and the plant um, so that would be one of the main reasons for uh, wanting to keep optimal production going. One of the things uh, that a lot of our contractors or customers are doing with the pave IR system is they're, they're correlating their thermal data with their IRI score. And what I mean by that is they'll pave for five miles in one day and they will know what their best mile is and their worst mile. So what they'll do is they will use GPS coordinates to go in and correlate that with the thermal data to find that best area uh, of their IRI and see if there's anything conclusive on why it's the best, continuous paving speed, continuous uh, mix temperature, um, all those things go into play with a good IRI score. And then the same on the flip side, they'll use it as a uh, learning tool to go in and see why was this section so bad? Is there a lot of paving stops, um, inconsistent mix temperature? I can see if there was a stop for maybe 20 minutes and that might be where we have a particular uh, uh, bumpy spot in the road that's not uh, where we would like it to be um, so that's uh, a great tool uh, in improving your IRI score. And some of the unique features um, with the Mobomatic 2 system is it has a built-in diagnostic menu and why does that matter? Well it matters if you're out on the job and you're you're having issues with let's say with your big ski and you're not really quite sure on what the problem is um, you can call one of our field service reps and they can talk you through the phone on how to get into the diagnostic menu and we can look at let's say sensor number two so if it has uh, let's say four or five logins we know that that's not correct because all the sensors should read one so that is a very unique feature that we have that will allow our field service reps to help troubleshoot uh, your screed man to help him uh, diagnose what the problem is a lot uh, quicker. And I think for, for me, a, a lot of my customers like the fact that I've actually, um, I've worked for contractors for almost 20 years before I came to work for MOBA. So I do have a lot of empathy and sympathy for the situations that they're in and what they're trying to, to overcome because I myself have, have been in their shoes and have, have actually uh, lived the problems that they're dealing with. And um, uh, just, it's a, it's, a, it's a good relationship and it comes off as, um, I don't look at myself as a salesman, I kind of look at myself as a, a problem solver and helping them um, get through the day and uh, get the most they can out of their equipment. When you deal with uh, MOBA, um, a, a lot of us have actually done the work before. Um, so I don't, we're, we're, we're kind of a little different where we're not just salespeople trying to sell you a product. We give you a, a whole package um, from expertise, troubleshooting, and even, even me, myself, I. Uh, sometimes I have to troubleshoot if uh, field service reps aren't available, I can kind of jump in and, and fill in. So it just kind of gives a, uh, my customers a, a sense of calm when they're, when they're dealing with me and uh, the information that I'm giving them.